Hi guys, Leonel Maha here one more week for uh, talking to you about what stood this week here. Felipe is here to help me in this week and today I'm talking about clock chokes. Okay, so I show you the clock chokes, what the guys heavy weight, the guys uh, heavy, super heavy, ultra heavy use more when you're making the clock chokes. Uh, and I put the more style to traditional clock chokes and I show you two or more trees to you play and drilling with your friends, okay? So, enjoy the situation. So, when I fight against him here, you know, the guy fall in this situation, I never put all my weight over my knee here strong, you know? I really like to my hip free here, so I have my knee on the ground, but no, all my weight over my knee here. My elbow and my hip control him a lot here, you know? I'm putting my arm here to grab his collar, but it's not deep, it's shallow. If I put too much deep, that guy come and hug my elbow here and start to flip me to the other side. So, it's a shallow. Shallow because when I put my arm shallow here, the guy no flip me, and it's easy to grab the, the, the collar here to the other side. Now I use my hand like a blade. If you have your strategy to pass your hand here and avoid this fight here, you can use your strategy here or your mode to do this better for you. I like to put my knuckles in his stick, you know, but when the guy close this, I put like a blade and I cross to the other side. When I put my thumb deep here, not too much deep to put pressure a lot in the wrong way, I put my, elbow, my thumb deep here, I cross to the other collar. Hey, professor, but you say not deep. In this moment, you let it go the same collar and cross to the other collar. But when you put your arm deep to grab the other collar, you transfer your weight over his head. So pay attention. My weight is not over his shoulder. My weight is not over his neck. My weight is over his head. You know, and I pull him for me. So I put all my weight over his head. Why I told you, you uh, the heavy weights use this too much. If you pay attention, my head and my butt is equalized like a table, you know, and I put all my weight down and I no share my weight with the ground. I stay here heavy and equalize my, my hip and my head in the same way. If you like to put your head down, you put your hip too, because you need equalize your weight, you know? So in this point, when I pass, grip, and change to the other collar, put your weight over. Now, have weights and up, put all his pressure over his head and fall. The guy tap. Lightweight, uh, uh, middle have or, uh, middle weights and down you start to put your hip in close to his shoulder head down the same level his hip and start to walk walk in the guy tap so this is a situation for a clock chokes now one variation if you the guy fight too much here and that arm is trouble for you no change for the let me stand up here no change for the other collar. Change here from his arm, pull his arm down and put his shoulder on the ground and start to do exactly the same. Or heavy or walking, but always equalize your head and your hip. In this situation here, when you go, if you pay attention, when you go to over his head, you start to push him here. And usually when you start to go here and start to push, the guy push you back. You use that momentum to pull him for you. But look, I never share my weight with the ground. And the same, number one, I put all my weight, my hands is here, I put all my weight over his head again. And pull. Never, never I put my outside shoulder heavy is my inside shoulder heavy and my weight over his head okay in the third one 
the guy have a time to flip himself to the other side. I change, grab his collar. When I go to the other collar, the guy flip his body here in this way. Look, I am follow this arm and I hug his arm and pass my hand to the other side. I literally hug his arm with, I literally hug his arm, but with his collar in my other hand. And I change, 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 put my knee here, and my knee make a pressure to push. My knee pressure my hand to push him, and the other hand pull. If you understand that situation to hug the same arm, not the other, the same arm, the same side, you can start to understand that situation here on top. And you're free to make like a, a Garcia row. You hear when the guy start to go, you follow him to Garcia row. If you guy, push you, you use option number two, you can go like a bow and arrow. If you have here, here, the guy start to stand up here, you follow his shoulder. Remember, always that arm. To the guy no flip away, you follow this arm, you change to the other side and you can fall. So, you can play a lot here when you understand that setup when it happened here, okay? Thank you so much for today. This is position of the week, clock chokes. Hope you enjoy. Thank you.